everybody, how are you? How are you? We just got out of church and we're having a celebration for our pastors. They're playing some Christian rap in the background. The uh, artist is called Mike Anderson. He's a Christian rapper, Christian artist, and so that's what you hear in the background, just in case you're interested in getting some Christian music. But I wanted to talk about being in perfect alignment with the Lord and the plan of God for his life, the plan of God for your life. Amen. Being in a perfect alignment with the Lord and the plan of God for your life. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, for I know the thoughts, the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. And because God knows the plans that he has for us, it is our job to get into perfect alignment with those plans. Sometimes people hear the, the words, I know the plans and I know the thoughts that God has for you. And they begin to go off and just do whatever they want to do. But, but God has these specific, specific plans, which is the perfect will of God for your life. And everyone has to search out the perfect will of God for their life. Everyone has to search out the perfect will of God for their life that they may know. The Bible says that they may know what is that good, perfect, and acceptable, perfect will of God. How do you do that? You ask the Lord. So if you don't know what the perfect will of God for your life is, ask the Lord. Stay in the word of God. Stay hearing his voice. Stay knowing the voice of God. Because if you get out of alignment and you start going off and doing your own thing, the blessings of the Lord cannot come how God has ordained for them to come. Remember, he has created each and every one of us to be on this earth for his specific plan and purpose. And that's why he gives us the encouraging words saying that he knows the plans that he has for us, you know, to give us peace, not of evil, to give us an expected end, to give us a hope in a future. He says that because he has ordained you for a specific reason and for a specific purpose. And sometimes people get off and they want to do things on their own accord. They want to do, do all these extravagant things that God has not called them to do, or they want to do all these extravagant extravagant things that um, out of season, you know, sometimes even out of season. And so anything that is not done when God is functioning and telling you to do it is disobedience. Amen. And so it is pivotal to be in alignment with God. If we, we search the scriptures, many who fell out of alignment with God lost what God had promised them. There was the man in the scripture who God used him to heal people. Amen. And the Lord gave him specific instructions after he healed a man's hand. The Lord gave him the instructions to go on a journey and go straight to the place that the Lord wanted him to go. But the Lord said, do not um, eat at anyone's house. Do not go in anyone's house and eat. And so the the man kept getting offers to go into people's house. Oh, we want to do this for you. We want to do that for you because we see that you're such a great man of God. And so the man continued to he continued to um, deny all the offers. But then finally one time came and he accepted the offer, even though it was totally against what God had told him to do. He accepted that offer and it totally took him out of alignment with the perfect will of God for his life. And so because he went into that man's house and he ate, even by the, the same man whose house he ate in, the Lord used that prophet to say to him, tonight um, you're going to be eaten by lions because... You disobeyed the word of the Lord. And so it is a it is a, a terrible thing to fall out of alignment with the perfect will of God. It's a terrible thing to disobey the word of the Lord for whatever reason it is. Some people are disobedient because they are insecure about what God is saying or because they don't know the voice of God. Some people are disobedient just because they're straight rebellious. But I want to encourage you and let you know that the perfect will of God and being in perfect alignment with God is where you need to be. Amen. And so I'm going to pray with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, Lord for being awesome and for moving on behalf of each and every one of your sons and daughters, Lord God. Lord, I ask that you just begin to show your perfect will to each and every one. Everyone who is searching, Lord God, for you, searching for what your perfect will is for their lives, I pray that you begin to show it to them. And I pray that you remove everything that is a distraction to them. And I pray that you just begin to um, 
gives them the strength to be able to endure past every single thing that the enemy wants to throw in their space. Everything that is uh, a stumbling block that the enemy has tried to place in their way, God, to deter them from your perfect will, God. Let it be refuted in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, because many are desiring to be in your perfect will, God. Many are saying that they will take this time to humble themselves and get into alignment with your perfect will, God. And some of them don't know how, God. So, Lord, I ask that you even begin to speak to people in visions and dreams through prophets, through their, their the people who they trust in the spirit, Lord God. Begin to speak those words. Begin to have direct contact with your sons and daughters, Lord God, that they will know without a shadow of a doubt what your perfect will is for their lives. That they will no longer teeter-totter and go another way because of confusion or because of the things that the enemy tries to put in their spirit to do that is contrary to you, Lord God. But Lord, let each and every person know that they know that they know that they know what it is that you're requiring of them in this season, Lord God. Let them be able to Determine. Oh, the voice is not in the fire. The voice is not in the wind. But it is in the, God is speaking in the still small voice. Sometimes God speaks to you in different ways. But you have to be able to discern if he's speaking in the wind or if he's speaking in the, the fire. Or if he's speaking through the still small voice. So Lord, I pray that each and every person has discernment of the will of God. Discernment of the voice of God. Discernment of the word of God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now, Lord God, that you just begin to take captive each and every person's spirit. God, that as you take their spirit captive, God, they will begin to be so in tune and in attune with you, Holy Spirit, that as they gravitate toward your word, God, they will be so closer to you, God. They will hear what you are speaking, God. They will know when it is gone and when it is of the enemy. Even when the enemy tries to make things sound so close to godly, and they will be able to have such keen discernment that they will know it's not godly. When everyone else is thinking something is of God and something is godly, they'll say, no, I know the uh, scripture was thrown in that, but the devil did the same thing when he tried to tempt Jesus. This right here is not God. Begin to give people such a discernment, God, that ear to hear. The Bible says that he who hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you begin to give them that ear to hear, that no longer will they go left when you're telling them to go right. No longer will they have to go around around the bend and not know what they're doing and just be dumbfounded every time they take an action. But Lord, let every people, every person move, hallelujah, with urgency in the spirit according to what you've called them to do. But let them move with purpose in the spirit according to what you've called them to do, Lord God. That no move in their life will be made without purpose, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak right now in the name of Jesus that you are aligned with the divine purpose and will and plan for your life life, that you will no longer make random, silly moves, that you will do what it is that God has called you to do, that you will align with what it is that God has called you to do and who he has called you to be. I come against any single form of confusion that will cause people to have confusion about who God has called them to be. Lord, let that confusion be refuted and fall to naught right now in the name of Jesus, that each and every one of your sons and daughters will know who they are in you and know what you are speaking to them in this season. Lord, in the name of Jesus, any single person that is in the lives of your people that has come to try to confuse your people and to make them have an identity crisis, begin to remove every single person, thing, place, uproot it right now in the matchless name of Jesus, that your people will be able to have the divine supernatural focus, the laser vision that you've called them to have, God, for the task that you've called them to do. And whatever it is, it may seem small, it may seem big, whatever it is, kingdom work is kingdom work. Whatever God has called you to do is whatever he has called you to do. Do not compare it to anything else. Do not compare it to anyone else, but just hallelujah. Be thankful that you've been given a task and a vision from the Lord. Be thankful that God desires to, to use you. Be thankful that God desires to prune you. Be thankful that God desires to even send words to you. Hallelujah. Be thankful that God is interceding on your behalf. Hallelujah. So right now in the name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you, Lord, that this prayer is sealed in the matchless, awesome, and undefeated name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is so. It is finished. It is finished. In Jesus' name, amen. And so you guys... Stay faithful to God. Stay in perfect alignment. Because you don't want to be like that man who was used to heal people. And then he disobeyed the word of the Lord and was eaten by lions. You want to stay in perfect alignment. Don't let people wear you down so much. But they keep asking, can you do this? Can you do that? Stuff contrary to what God has called you to do. If he's told you don't do this. 
Don't let peer pressure override the word of God and the plan of God for your life. If God says stay at home today, it doesn't matter who calls you, stay at home. And that's just an example. I'm not saying that that's what God is really requiring of you. That's just an example. Um, amen? Because God told that man in the Bible, do not go to anyone's house and eat. Go to the destination I've called you to go to. Do not stop. Do not stop. And he turned a whole bunch of people down, but then went to one man's house and ate. And he, his soul was required of him that night. You don't ever want your mission to be forfeited. You don't ever want your mission to be transferred to the next willing person who's willing to be obedient. My God. But I know, I know you guys, I know you guys are going to heed to the word of the Lord. And I know you're going to, you're going to be in perfect alignment with Jesus Christ. As long as you allow the flesh to come down, that flesh to be killed and you rise above in the spirit and in the things of God, let the voice of God reign precedent over the voice of the flesh and the voice of the enemy. And you cannot go wrong when the voice of God is louder than any other voice. And when your spirit is yielded to God, the things of God, the voice of God, and his purpose and plan for your life. I thank the Lord for each and every one of you guys. You guys know that you can always join me Monday mornings at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and which is also 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Monday morning manifestation prayer broadcast. But I wanted to come on and give you this word that the Lord gave me to give to you about being in perfect alignment. Amen. Yesterday I prayed a prayer on Instagram about being perfect alignment. It was a prayer to launch people into perfect alignment with God. And so today I just wanted to give the the word that the Lord gave me to give to you guys following that prayer. Amen. And I pray that this blessed you. I pray it has blessed you. If it has, feel free to share it on social media, share it with your friends and family and all over the whole world. You guys have a blessed and prosperous rest of your day. And again, the music playing in the background, if you can hear, the artist's name is Mike Anderson, and he's a Christian artist, a Christian rapper, and so you can Google him and you can purchase his music if you desire to, if the Lord leads you to. Amen. Support kingdom music. Support kingdom things, okay? Amen. You guys have a blessed and prosperous rest of your day today. In Jesus' name.